Dimelo, Bo Dominican York, coming back at you. I've got a beautiful shoe here, guys. One that uh, I've been wanting for a really long time. These are the Art Basel uh, Air Jordan 1 in the rust pink colorway. Uh, the box says it is a Jordan 1 Retro High OG NRG. I don't know what the NRG um, but I know these are super limited, going for like five grand on StockX. Uh, these are from Hype Boost. Uh, I love the toe box. I mean, it, I think that the toe strap goes up a little bit high. Uh, the Nike check swoosh is great. Where the line comes up, I wish it was a little taller. Uh, on the inside, it does come up a little taller. Then on the inside of this one, uh, medial side right uh it doesn't and then on the lateral side it does again so then i got like a little bit of stitching and white sticking out here uh the construction of the shoe i love the customer service of hype boost i love uh what i didn't like is that there are guidelines apparently visible around the swoosh and in the toe box uh was very disappointed with that with hype boosts uh, I wanted to give them a shot. Uh, honestly, the toe box looks better than the QC picks, but I had um, red, light, red lit a pair of the Magnus uh, Eyeshod um, High Top Dunks. You know, the new uh, SB Dunk High that came out with the uh, awesome colorway and that retro look. Uh, it's based off of Porsche. I like Porsches a lot. Uh, that would have been my third dunk based on a Porsche design. But honestly, guys, uh, I was happy that Hype Boost immediately after I red lit the um, the Eyeshot Dunk Highs because the toe box came all the way up here. Uh, I red lit those and they immediately gave me the opportunity to go ahead and switch out for something that I wanted. Um, this was an extra 10 bucks. I did pay the difference. Um, that happened to me recently with somebody else where I, uh, ordered something and after I ordered it, uh, a few days later, they told me they didn't have it in stock and they went ahead and replaced it with something that was more expensive and did not upcharge me. So, uh, I will have those in a review sh soon. Uh, I guess a decent hourglass shape. It's slightly, yeah, the hourglass shape is there. I've seen more pronounced hourglass shapes, but the stitching on these guys is really beautiful. Again, the construction, the leather construction is great. Uh, let's see the insole. I have not looked underneath the insoles. It does have the correct sizing. The insole is infrared. I don't know if that's supposed to be infrared. I haven't really looked at these. Stitching is minimal. It does not have an awesome amount of stitching. Let's see, fidelity on the tongue tag is great. Again, I think the construction of these is amazing. I guess the glue should come up higher. Let's see. The Wings logo is looking good. Wings logo is looking good. I believe it's the right placement. Maybe it's a little low. Let's check the other one. See, this one's getting almost touching the leather there and it's not here but again man <laughs> these are reps and i imagine this stuff you know this stuff happens on retail too but honestly the leather feels amazing the sole looks great i thought it was going to be too light but the soles look great again i really love the shape of these shoes i'm glad they don't have a stamp but Let's do the black light test because I'm going to show you what we got. Again, these are from Hype Boost. Amazing customer service. 
Look at the toe. Look at the toe box lighting up like a Christmas tree. Lighting up like a Christmas tree. And then around the swoosh. Yep. Lighten up big time. The construction is great. Just wish it didn't have the pencil marks. Pencil marks are all over, man. Super apparent, even on the front of the toe box. Same thing with the other shoe. A lot of pencil marks. All over that toe box. Front of the toe box doesn't light up on this one. And then the other swoosh. Uh, if anybody out there knows how I can get these guidelines off, it'd be much appreciated. I cannot find a video on YouTube, and I haven't looked recently, but I cannot find a video on YouTube that clearly shows me. Some people have told me to do acetone. Some people have told me to do alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Nothing has worked. The isopropyl alcohol started to change the soul of my, uh, the color of my soles in the uh, black light, but you can't tell without the black light. So I stopped. I mean, it's a stamp. It's a rep. So again, uh, other than that, honestly, these look amazing. Tigrazo. Tu se ven perfecto, loco. I just wish it didn't have the daggone. The leather looks pretty true to form, like the way these came. Sorry, the video's getting a little long. I laced them up. Gosh. Uh, they did come in a little bit of a flimsier Jordan box. There's no stamp here. No discernible stamp that I can see. I don't know what that tag is. The box cardboard doesn't feel as great. There are no stamps on the inside top. Did come with the rust pink laces and an extra set of white laces. I'll probably end up putting the rust pink laces in. Uh, there's no white and green sticker in here. Nothing else. No stamp. I'm curious if the soles have a stamp. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. All right, so honestly, these are beautiful. You guys tell me if I should put the rust pink laces in or keep the black laces. Uh, my little brother likes white laces on the white tongues. I, I kind of like the black laces. I usually think that I would like to match the laces with the tongue, but I really like the color blocking on the black with the black laces. Again, what do you think, man? Uh, again, hype boost. Thank you. Shipping was pretty normal, about three weeks. Uh, QCs, again, great customer service. Great customer service. Just, uh, I don't know if I'll do them again because of the black light failure. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to them and let them know that I probably won't order again. <sighs> Retail therapy. Anyway, this is Bo Dominican York. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. I know I don't put uh, excellent quality content out there. Uh, you get a real video, unedited, uncut, what I do. And honestly, it's probably because I don't want to dedicate that much time. But you never know. If I keep doing this, I get more subscribers. I will end up uh, actually possibly starting to edit videos. So again, Bo Dominican York, I got the... Jordan 1 High OG in the Rust Pink, the Art Basil. These are super limited. Uh, I guess I got my hands on a very limited pair. But these feel great. Just wish they didn't have the pencil marks. Again, Bo Dominican York. Talk to you soon. Peace.